Hey guys, Ellie and Megan here. Today, we are at Longhorn Lester's. It is a really big moment for, where are you at, Nikki Bella? There is Nikki Bella right there. We have her babies in the little pet carrier. And Nikki, you can get out now, bub. I just wanted to video this part. She wants to get out of the car because it's like 100 degrees, no AC on, no nothing. So we're here, and we've brought Nikki Bella to where she's going to be living from now on, and her babies too. She's been kind of, what's the word, claustrophobic, just kind of cooped up inside the apartment the last two weeks. It was necessary though, so that she would take care of her babies and that they had a good place to stay warm and stay cool, everything that you need. But now that we're here, now that they've gotten a little bit older, I think it's gonna be good to be able to let the kittens see where they're gonna be living permanently too. Come and kind of let Nikki get back to her old lifestyle of roaming free. Come on, Nikki. It's all you now. This is this is you, baby. Oh, that must feel so good. Her first taste oh, of fresh okay. air in about two weeks. There she goes. Oh my goodness! Who the heck is that? Oh, Nikki. She's reunited with her old friends. Hi, little dogs. Are y'all friendly to strangers? I don't think we've met yet. I'm Ellie. What's your name? And you? What's your name, little dog? Wow, y'all are tinier than I thought. But y'all are gonna grow so big in no time. All right, guys, so I think that we've found the perfect spot for Nikki and her babies, at least for the next few weeks until they get a little bit bigger and can take care of themselves. So get right here so you can see. In the closet. You're going to put Nikki in the closet. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I was concerned about it being a little bit too hot, but cats actually, little kittens, need like 84 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit anyway, so I think it'll be okay. And... The cement floor is nice and cool. Yeah, and there's nowhere that anything can get in here to bother them. And here's the best part is that this is the one entrance. So we put like maybe three little boards that come about this high. The dogs, which would be the biggest uh, problem for them, can't get in. And then they can't get out. But Nikki, their mom, can come in and out as they please because everyone knows cats have 50-inch verticals. So yeah, Nikki can jump out, but our puppies cannot get in because we do not want the puppies messing with them. And also, Ellie, you don't know this, but our puppies always go in there because it's nice and cool. So, so that's even better then, because that, that was my one concern with that spot was the tent. Yeah, so look at the puppies, the mess they make. <laughs> but uh, no, the puppies do like to go in there because it is nice and cool, but this will keep them out. So we already measured over there, and what we need is 33-inch boards to make it fit perfectly. I already cut one down there. My dad already cut one for me, so... Let me go ahead and get the other two right quick. So we're looking for a 33 inch board to go across that doorway and we want to cut three of them total. Ah! I hate that noise. Kidding. There you go. Didn't get your toe, did it? No, I didn't. Do you know what they... Um, you know what they call that thing you're using right there? The speed square. I'm guessing because it's speedy and it's easy and you can square off edges pretty I'm well. I'm sure that's why. I never use that. I That's actually mine. I own it, but I never use it. Can you believe that? Because I hate it. So what do you do? You just I eyeball it. Diagonal lines and stuff? That's why none of my stuff is straight. <laughs> Even though I have a problem with things not being straight, none of my stuff is straight, but i just too, too lazy to use a speed square. That shrill noise is not making it better. All right, next step is uh, screwing it in so it's sturdy. I was actually thinking, sounds kind of silly. I was thinking of just stacking the three boards on top of each other, but I kind of didn't think about the dogs were just bulldozing. Oh, yeah, they'll bulldoze <laughs> right in here. You hear all that barking right now? Yeah. They love to play, and so they're not going to do anything mean, but they just love to play. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, little dogs. You scared Fiona, Ellie. So the bottom one will be easy. It'll be the other two having to decide how high we want to go with them, how much space. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a little bit harder. When I'll hold it for you, you decide on the outside. You decide where you want it to be. Here you go, and I'll hold it from over here. Well... 
Is it a big deal if they're on top of each other? No, but I think we're going to have to go higher than three because they'll jump right over three of those. I don't, we'll, I we'll I don't know boards. how high the dogs can jump. Uh, they'll jump right over three of those. That's only going to be six, 12, so eight, 18 inches. Can they fit like this right here? No, but they would not fit through there. All right, I'll hold it and you go ahead. All right. All right. Now, I know for a fact the puppies can't get in there. Uh, I'm going to call them over here and see if they even try. Fiona! <laughs> come on, baby. Puppies! Where's my puppies? Hey, come over here. I want to show you something. Come here. <laughs> come here, baby. Come here. Come here, Fiona. Come on, Fiona. Come on, Fiona. <laughs> come on, babies. Millie, come on. <laughs> Come on, even, babies! They don't even want to try. They're, they're, Ellie, they can never get in there. You can just tell they'll never get in over there. And then, as they get older, uh, we could always add another one if we have to. Uh huh. All right. So Ellie's gonna go get the bedding and all. I told Ellie that he, they may not want bedding. Mickey Bella is gonna be smart enough. Her instincts are smart enough to know that the concrete floor is cooler than what. I mean, look over there. There's a great example. Why would those cats be lying on the concrete floor? Because it's cool. It's cool to the touch. And so anyone that has concrete, how about Jason over at Cog Hill? He knows that concrete floor, he just did his home, is cooler to the touch. So they may, you may put them in the bed, but I promise you, she's probably gonna pull them right off of it. It is a dog bed, so if anything, the dogs can have it, I guess. Oh, they'll chew the heck out of that thing. Oh, man. All right, stick it and in I, there. I, and like, it is true, her instincts will ultimately kick in, but yeah. I just, and you, I know. I just, I just feel better about giving I her get the, it. the choice. Give her the choice between. So what you it. are is being like a new mom who has to go off and buy one of those bassinets and one of those all that or got to have a rocking chair and got to have all kinds of the things that spend thousands of dollars on all this new stuff because I it's a new. Have options. Pick the, pick the <laughs> Wait, and it's a Serta. I don't know what that means. Isn't that like an expensive brand? It wasn't cheap. Do y'all have like sleep numbers where they can change the dials and? <laughs> up and down if we could we would <laughs> i bet you would all right let's get some food and water in there so she doesn't have to come out and i'd put it yeah ellie i'd face it like will it fit the other way so they won't back up to that little nook no 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 no, no. Way, yeah. yeah i would go that way so they won't have any chance of going back oh, into yeah. that little That's nook perfect. and now at least they have the choice nikki can pick whether she wants the bed or the concrete she can pick whether she wants yep. A fanned area or the warmer area. At least yeah. she has a choice. And I'll leave the door propped open so they'll never have to go with no airflow. Yeah. And uh, I think that they'll be fine like that, Ellie. I Maybe really do. Kids. All right, it's move in day. Here we go. It's move in day. I'll start them somewhere down in the middle right here. Here you go, guys. Y'all gotta get used to the outside. They've been in an apartment. They're not even used to debris and like little feathers and stuff. So that's gonna be. Well, I already swept it out. It's not that kind of debris, Ellie. I already swept it. But it's, it's, it's like outside. They're not even used uh, yeah. to. They're not well, even used to a single. Let go. Let go. Thank you. Oh, you're oh so my goodness! Precious. Look at that baby. <laughs> they're not used to even a single grain of dirt yet, so. Oh, I bet you they're more. Oh, Nikki, she jumped out of my arm, Billy. Yeah. All right, let her look around. The food's behind you in her little water bowl, and she'll know she can come in and out. All right, see, so now she's realizing, okay, this is good. There's food, there's water, there's a bed. And this is just what we need, our own little nook. Those puppies can't get to us. All right, we're looking good. And so she can jump out when she whenever she wants to. And she already knows the other cats. She was raised with the other cats. Yeah, I got a video of it. As soon as she showed up, she went up and sniffed gun smoke. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know, she's kind of like safe. What the heck is she doing? She's exploring, seeing, <laughs> seeing what's going on with everything, making sure there's no, no cracks. She's doing a foundation inspection, make sure that there's safe. <laughs> Look at those two that look just like her. They're looking at the camera. One's in the corner and one's like in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do have the exact same markings. Four of them look the exact same at the beginning, but it's crazy how in only two weeks they're already starting to kind of differentiate. Is the runt the one other in the very center, the light, the light gray? Yeah. Okay, and y'all don't have any names for them yet? or yes? I told you we had two names. The um, Bru the one, Is that that's a real name? Brutus? Bruiser. The, the Bruiser. The Bruiser. And then the gray is that... 
the it gray. Is the alien one, yeah. So the dark gray is the gray. Yeah. The gray and then the bruiser the is the big one that looks like her. Y'all gotta understand why though. So I already explained with the bruiser. Here, let me get him both. You know, Nikki's trying to adjust to her new living arrangements and all he wants to talk about. All right. So at the beginning, I have video evidence of the bruiser, this one. He would just bulldoze all of his brothers trying to get to the tit first. And yep. like he would literally like slap them in the face. Ellie, could, would... We call it the teat. Okay, the teat. That's, that's, what, <laughs> that's what, just what you call it. That's what I normally call it. I know, but I get in trouble for saying stuff like that. He, so he was just bullying his brothers, like trucking them, trying to eat to the food. So he's the bruiser. Okay. And then this one is the gray because he's all, he's the darkest that gray. Alien gray. And look at his alien face. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. alien like? Very. The gray. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. Oh, she wants her kittens down. <laughs> what is all the commotion over here? Mama. See, you're choking on your food. You're eating too fast. Uh, Fiona's like, I smell cats. And I hear kittens. Let me at them. Oh, no. Fiona's like, you wanted the watchdog. I'm barking, aren't I? And look at Millie. She's like, I don't. I don't have the strength to watch say, dog right now. Up, they just, they were laying yeah. To do with okay, Ellie. I think it looks pretty good. That's a good start. nice way to make you feel like she's comfortable she wouldn't be laying down the babies are all kind of getting to know their surroundings she'll feel a lot safer in there i promise you 